Oscar Ray. The counter punch. All right, back at y'all with another radio call, man. You got your boy Real Talk is in the building. Y'all already know when me and Real Talk, we talk that shit. We in here to cook. And you already know your boy love one to hate one, man. And we got a good fight that's coming up between literally Boo Boo Andrade. And as you guys know, I call him Pitfall Benavidez. And it's a whole lot to say about this fight. But real talk, I'm not going to even lie to you, man. I've been intrigued, and I really want to know who you got in this one. Oh, man, God bless. Thank you for having me on again, man. It's good to be back. Hell, yeah. Uh, honestly, man, yeah, I have, a lot of, uh, I have a lot of thoughts on this fight. It is a, it's a very interesting matchup. Yep. You know, you got, uh, you got Andrade, who's, uh, who's about 36 now. He's getting up there in age. You know, and then uh, you got Benavidez, you know, young, hungry, and, uh, you know, he's coming up, he's taking a step up fights. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's, uh, it's kind of do or die with both guys. It is. Because, uh, you know, we know that uh, Andrade's never really had a big fight up until this point. Yep. And Benavidez himself, he can't really afford to take a loss when he's right on the cusp of that, you know, Canelo fight that he's been chasing so long as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's an interesting matchup. You know, you have the uh, the pure boxer versus the uh, pressure fighter. <clears throat> uh, I think stylistically, Benavides has a lot of uh, a lot of excuse me, he has a lot of uh, advantages going into this fight stylistically. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andrade, I don't know if he has the power or the pop to keep Benavides honest. And uh, we don't know if he has a gas tank to. Uh, outpoint him and outmaneuver him the same way Caleb Plant was uh -huh. and to do that for a, a long period of time so it's an interesting matchup it's going to be a good fight I believe and uh, the you know as far as we know now uh, with Mauricio Suleiman coming out uh, with his with his uh, with his statements on the uh, his frustration with the WBC yeah, you know, his frustration with the, the one, number one contender not getting his title shot. Yeah. So, you know, we could touch on that later, but oh, yeah. basically, this is going to be, this is going to be like a, it's going to be a big fight for a lot of, of a lot more reasons than one. And so, uh, definitely tune in everyone, you know, definitely uh, buy the fight. We want these fighters to, to get as big as possible so that way they can get these paydays and be worth something in the future, you know? Yep. Um, I was gonna tell you this, um, but who who you got winning the fight though? Uh man, honestly, you, and this you, is my this is my like unbiased opinion. This is my like my 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 honest uh, out of my heart opinion. Yeah, Benavides is gonna win this by hook or by crook, man. By like, hook or by crook. By hook or by crook. We know who the house fighter is. It's Benavides. It is. So if Benavides can last twelve rounds, not look terrible, and even even score a knockdown or something, he's gonna win this fight regardless. But Same shit, basically they, like Kata Plant in a sense. Like it was exactly. close. Exactly. They they need they need Benavides to succeed and and get this Canelo fight. Mm -hmm. So you know, I got I got Canelo. I, I mean, excuse me, I got Benavides by hook or by crook. He's gonna win this one, um, in whatever fashion he feels that he needs to because. Andrade's getting older. He's, he, you know, it's a, it's a day late and a dollar short, man. You know, he should have been chasing these fights a lot longer. So. Right. Excuse me, my daughter. Are you I'm good? Of, but uh, yeah, that's that's my that's my official opinion. I think Benavidez is gonna take this one. Yeah, that was a good little take. Shit, I ain't gonna front, but I'm gonna tell you guys this. Um. You guys know how I get down when it comes down to my predictions and stuff like this. I try to look at things like my boy Real Talk just said, unbiasedly um, and as objective as possible. So I'm just letting y'all know one thing about the thing about Dave Benavidez, Pitfall, as I call him. I'm not even trying to clown Dave Benavidez. Matter of fact, I'm not going to even call him Pitfall no more in this video because I, I want this to be serious. David Benavidez, he's shown us what he can do against a very good fighter. So now we have a measuring stick 
with David Benavidez. We don't have that measuring stick with uh, literally Bubu Andrade because he hasn't beat nobody on a Caleb Plant caliber. I don't care who, who you are showing your magnificent boxing skill against if they're not really elite. Now, Bubu Andrade, he faced some decent fighters, but he never faced nobody that was really world class like that to me. Real talk. Am I tripping? Has he? Uh, no, man. Like, he I just, think we all know that his, his, one of his best wins, uh, like Desmond Nicholson, yeah. he just sat him on his ass. Like, uh, there, there's no track record to, to really measure Boo Boo by, man. It's like, right. All, all you really have to go off of is who ducked you. And that shit gets old. Yeah, it only gets you so far. And, Andrade, like, you got to stop with that ducking. That's a whole other video, though, because I, he, he thinks everybody's ducking him, man. And I just don't get it, though. But, you know, I'm going to just save that one. At the end of the day, look, Demetrius Andrade, man, you will have to show us something that we haven't seen yet from you for you to pull this off. Not to mention, like Real Talk just said, and I agree wholeheartedly, when you say, man, the fighter that PBC wants to win is... Benavides. A Canelo versus Benavides will surpass Canelo versus Andrade on any day. Because we all know, at least with Benavides, you know you're going to see a good fight or you may see a knockout. Man, fucking Demetrius Andrade be in some boring ass fights. I'm talking about, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be ready to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. At least with Benavidez, you know, okay, he gonna either try, he gonna try to get the knockout, or his style is just. That's one thing we can't take away from Benavidez. His style is exciting. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we got to give Benavidez very that. Fan friendly. Yeah, very fan friendly, for real, for real. So, um, I got Benavidez winning this fight too. Real talk, you know, and um, I really feel like I can see a late stoppage. I feel like um, Andrade's gonna do good early. I feel like, because one thing about Benavidez, he do take a while sometimes, not all the time. He, he likes to figure you out a little bit before he steps on the gas and stuff like that. Like he, like what he did against Caleb Plant. But yeah, I think Benavidez, who is this texting me? I do feel like Benavidez is going to take this fight. And I feel like he's going to take the fight clearly. It's not going to be no controversial none of that. I feel like he's going to really beat um, Bubba Andrade. Like you said, Bubba Andrade, he has nothing to keep um, David Benavides off of him. Nothing. And David Benavides has a solid chin. But, just to make things a little interesting, because we both got David Benavides. But I always do this, as you guys know, to make things more interesting. Let's play devil's advocate. If it was a way that Demetrius Andrade can beat David Benavidez, what would you say he should do or can do, real talk? Oh, well, I mean, that, that's, that's a fairly simple. Uh, he just has to do what Caleb Pine was doing in the first six rounds. And don't get tired, honestly, huh? Caleb Pine was outboxing the shit out of, out of David, bro. He was. Like, it's an argument yeah, like he won the first six rounds. Really stepped on that gas. Oh, excuse me, sorry. No, my bad, my bad. Uh, Go ahead. Had David not really stepped, uh, had stepped on that gas in the last, like, you know, six rounds, mm -hmm. and he, he definitely was losing that fight. He was. So, yeah, so for, for and like you said, um, Andrade has a show something we've never seen, so, and that, to me, would be showing us you got a great engine and you're able to fight that, like that, for 12 rounds. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really, that is simple, it's really as simple as that, because David's, yeah, he's got slow feet. Everybody knows he has slow feet. Yep. Pitiful. So if you can if you can stay on the outside and box him for twelve rounds, you can definitely outpoint him. Yeah, that was a good observation. Yeah. Do you feel like? Because I'm gonna um give my take real quick, but I just want to ask you this: Do you feel like he can hurt David Benavides? Well, anybody could be hurt in boxing. Let me well, not say that. Do you feel like he can stop David Benavides? I don't know about stopping, but I know we've seen David Benavides get dropped by a jab before. Yeah, that's true. To be fair, he was a lot uh, younger, though. To be fair. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, yeah, yeah. And that's the same thing, like, you know, saying, like, oh, Canelo's been wobbled. Yeah, when he yeah. was, like, 19. He was, like, like 19, yeah, right, it's yeah. The same thing. yeah. It's the same thing. So, 
we've seen him get dropped, but we also saw, you know, we also saw Booba get dropped his last run, last fight too. So yeah, but, uh, and then uh, on top of that, he, what I think was really um, was really going to play against uh, Andrade is that his last fight was also the ten rounder. It wasn't twelve. No, it was a ten rounder, man. Oh damn! And I think he's not. Yeah, on, on top of him not being active, he fought on a ten rounder your last fight, my guy. Right. Yeah, in activity, uh-huh. activity is not on his side. Let me ask you this though, yeah. because be- Andrade he did he did get dropped, but they didn't call it, huh? I don't think they did call it a drop. Yeah, he, he did get dropped. Said, he got dropped, yeah. and he got dropped against a fighter a long time ago named Matrosian, and he's mm-hmm. kind of big like with um, David Benavidez and everything. So, yeah, you got to favor um, literally Bubu Andrade. But when it comes down to me, I personally feel like, like I agree with everything you said just now. I feel like if Bubu Andrade comes out there and he, if he can fight a perfect fight, I feel like he can beat David Benavidez if that happens. But I feel like David Benavidez is going to neutralize a lot of that because, first of all, we never seen, um, not Caleb Plant, Andrade face nobody with the with the engine of Benavidez. Uh, oh, excuse me. We never seen him face nobody with the engine of David Benavidez. Not only that, a fighter that throws punches in bunches like David Benavidez. That's why it's going to be a good fight. But they both is going to bring they all. We know that. But I just feel like the person that is more proven, and you kind of always got to lean towards the person that is more proven, and that is um David Benavidez. But I will say this, though. Um, I feel like one thing about um, Demetrius Andrade, he do have fast hands, and he throws a lot of punches too when he wants to. So it's going to be some punches being exchanged in that fight. And I've seen David Benavidez get cut before, so I could probably see a stoppage. Again, you guys, I'm playing devil's advocate. I could probably see a stoppage in that sense, maybe a cut or some shit like that. But other than that, man, I feel like David Benavidez, he has a solid chin. I feel like if anybody stops David Benavidez at 168, it's going to be Canelo. Maybe the Mutt Charlo, maybe. But I think the only person that could, I mean, flatline Benavidez is Canelo. And that's my opinion on that whole fight right there. Yeah. I agree completely. If I could add, um, if I, yeah, could add I was going to say final thoughts, final thoughts. I want to add a layer of, of expectation in this fight um, from either fighter. Andrade, you're going to have to show us that when you take, when you finally do take up step uh, in competition after being uh, an Olympian and being in the game for so long, like you're literally older than Canelo. You know, mm-hmm. you're older than all these fighters. Yeah. And uh, this is your first serious fight. You need to show us something special. And um, Benavidez, you know, you go around with this moniker of the Mexican monster and you couldn't even stop or drop uh, kind of those leftovers. Right. You know? You're wrong. Caleb Plant's a great fighter. Yeah. You know, but you should at least but drop he's been though. stopped by a smaller guy who threw less punches. Come on, man. Yeah. And if all these uh, so-called fans that that you have are saying, you know, you have all this power that, you know, Canelo's running from you because he's scared of your power or whatever it is they think, I don't understand it. Uh, you're going to have to stop Andrade. Like, you, ha- you have to stop Andrade. That's how I feel, Otherwise, too. you're going to have to drop that moniker of Mexican yeah. monster. I agree with you on that. If he don't stop on Real Talk, he will have to win like damn near every fucking round. He got to dom like he, he's I mean, gonna have to cut, dominate, bully, and beat the shit out of Andrade to, right. to keep that moniker. Because I mean, we saw in a way with the mon- with the monster moniker, and he went up in weight. And you know, we didn't all know if he was. I didn't. I honestly picked him by uh, by decision, decision but yeah. I, I didn't think he was gonna have all that power going back up, going up in weight like that. Me neither. And he, he holds true to his his name of the moniker of the monster. So, Benavidez, you're gonna have to show us that uh, you are you are a Mexican monster. If not, you know you can uh, cut all that bullshit. You know, because honestly, to me, Benavidez is as Mexican as Taco Bell. 
motherfucker's not Mexican. Man. Yeah, we all and know. I'm, not Mexican. I'm, I'm sure I'm not Mexican, and I'm not going to claim that I am. Right. And it's just weird. What are you, though, real talk? I thought you was Mexican. Uh, I mean, I'm Hispanic, but you know, I, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of Native American blood in me. So. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I mean, you know, it's the same thing. You know, Mexicans are Native Americans. Yeah, so it's the same thing. But you know, I'm not gonna claim I'm something that I'm not. Yeah. Hey, that's I'm how you born should. American, man. You're born in America. You're fucking American. Stop playing around. Yeah, man, that's how it should be, in my opinion. Yeah, rep what you really are and all that stuff. But yeah, man. I, you're not from Texas. You're from fucking New York. Just like Tupac. And I love Tupac, but Tupac, you were from New York, my brother, even though you rep the New West. New York? He was from fucking New York, right? Right. That's, that's, oh, my God. Right. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, I can get into all that. But you, it's all good, though. It's all good, though. So those are my final thoughts on the fight, man. I, I, I want to see something special because I'm from these two because... Uh, you know, we've been we've been seeing them call out Canelo for so long, and they're finally gonna see each other and stop bullshitting us. So show us something special, man. That's all I expect. That's how I feel. So I want to see something special too. I really feel like a lot of people they want to lie to themselves and make it seem like David Benavidez did something special against Caleb Plant. He really did not. I didn't see nothing. Yeah, like, I don't know if you know that guy, uh, Mister Mirage. He's he's like this big Benavidez glazer, man. And, he, I don't think I know him. He no. really pretends. He really pretends that that Benavidez' win over Plant was better than than Canelo's win over Plant. So How was that? You know what? Let's cook on that for five minutes. Let, hey, let's cook on that for five minutes. Real talk. Let's cook on that for five yeah. minutes, bro. Just five minutes, because I want to destroy that argument real quick. Hold on, I'm gonna. I'm